welcome to a brand new YouTube video. <laughs> Fun fact, this is not the direction I was going to go with this one whatsoever. I'll explain in a second. I was going to do this whole entire cinematic hype, you know, edit and all that kind of stuff. Like, I had, I had shit planned out. I had shit planned out, right? And I had to scrap it after yesterday. So, let's take a look at Monday first and talk about that. Very, very happy. Just being able to squat that, that's the heaviest it's been since my last meet prep, so I'm happy with that, just with the whole hip sensation going on and all that kind of stuff. Happy with that. Bench kind of took a hit. Uh, I've been noticing too, I haven't been setting up the, the same way I used to be, and I think it's kind of factoring into it because I don't feel as tight when I did the last couple, like this, I would say this whole last block, but now that I figured out what it is, we're good. So, not too, not too worried because I figured it out on back offs and, and back offs flew and I was actually pissed about it. So yesterday I had a single at nine. On Today's Thursday, by the way, if you couldn't catch that. Um, but just seeing how last week went at Odyssey, that 573 and just matching it fast as it's ever been, I was like, yeah, 600 can go. I had the confidence. It's not that I was cocky, it was not that I was egotistical, it was nothing like that. It was just the idea that I knew it was there and I knew I could achieve it. I knew it was gonna be a fight regardless. I was gonna have to grind it out, no matter what. And it was it was all up here, so. Yeah, so let's check it out real quick. Yeah, so it slipped out of my hand at the top, very, very close to. Um, I, I just feel beat up today, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna take these next couple of days light and just let the CNS kind of recover. Um, I was very, very mad at the moment because I looked at my hand before pulling it and I noticed that the layer of liquid chalk I had on below my powder was gone. Like you could literally see like just skin. And I was like, yeah, I'll be fine. Just put powder up or whatever. I was not fine, in fact. So that's what happened. That's the bad. Taking the good away from it, being able to pull 600 unpeaked is kind of nuts. So I'm taking a huge, huge win from that. Just, it was right there. I'm, I'm still a little. It still haunts me a little bit today, but I'm not even. I'm not even worried about it. Like I know it's gonna be there meet day, but I'm gonna talk about my meet tomorrow just a little bit more. But I need a bench right now. Um, but yeah, we have another. We have an easy day on bench. Nothing too crazy. We'll see how it goes. Officially got the hoodies back on, so you already know the tunnel vision is gonna be a whole different breed. Um, but we'll, see, we'll just see what we got today. So let's just see and I'll uh, catch up with you guys tomorrow.
I don't even know where that came from. I can't even lie. I, I don't know. I thought my CNS was going to be fried, but I guess not. You know, I told you I fixed my setup. Now we're, we're good. So tomorrow I'm going to discuss a little bit more in depth about what I'm thinking about this meat and kind of my future as well, just because there's some things that kind of need to be discussed, especially with how the timing of everything works. So we'll see how it goes. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Went to the Friday. You already saw yesterday, which was kind of tapped. I don't know where that came from. Even after being beat up, I still feel a little beat up from the 600 attempt. So I'm just going to take today as an active recovery day. I have the whole, the heaviest thing I have is a squat triple at seven to eight. You know, probably going to take it closer to the seven. Just because there's no need to push and I can feel my back a little bit. So I don't want to injure myself or do anything stupid. So there's that. But um, I said I would discuss what my expectations for this meet is. Um, so if you didn't know, this isn't my only meet I'm like having an eye on. So I'm doing this meet in December and I'm also going to nationals in April. And it's the first week of April. And I was just thinking that basically right when I come out, of this meet in December, I'm gonna be jumping it in right into another meat prep, kind of getting the body ready for another meat prep and then jumping into another meat prep, like fast turnaround, no off seasons, nothing. I haven't really done that before. I don't know what <laughs> what's gonna happen, um, but I talked to Isaac yesterday about the idea of not completely pushing like a normal meat in December. So leaving some room to spare so that I can come into training not too beat up and be able to push something even crazier uh, come nationals in the beginning of April. Just because I think like that is a more important meet just because like just look at the roster of the 83s man. Like Joe Bornstein, Delaney Wallace, Chris Perez, Angelo Fortino, Jack Reynolds. Like you got hitters bro. So it's like I want to kind of solidify, solidify myself that I'm coming eventually. I don't know when, but eventually I'm coming. Um, so, yes, I am prepping for this meet in December, but no, it is not going to be a full out meet. I'm thinking somewhere between the lines of basically my last attempt being somewhere between RPE 8 to 9. We'll see. Going from there. I want to get 9 to 9 for. The first time ever, I've yet to get nine and nine. I've gone uh, five and nine my first meet, bombed out on my second meet, and that was sick. Um, eight and nine on my third, seven and nine my fourth, and then eight and nine on my last one in March. So it's it's been close. It's been there. I just, I just want to get it eventually. Like I need to make my last deadlift pull. I have yet to make a third attempt deadlift. Also. So that is also a huge goal of mine, um, but we'll see. So, but yeah, that's kind of the goal. Um, so I wouldn't get too excited about this meet. I would get more excited about the next one. So we'll, we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna start lifting. Uh, I'm see. I'm gonna see what we have. You know, easy day. Like I still feel a little beat up. I, I feel tired. Um, so just gotta kind of get in the flow and we'll get to it but we'll see what we got um yeah i'll uh, talk to you guys later about some things this weekend stuff What is going on, everyone? So, 
This weekend, fun fact, I actually put on my best six-pack Lapidat impression. If you know who he is, he is the voice of King of the Lifts and everything related to that. Uh, so I recently just did the Odyssey Primetime Classic. I did the second session on Saturday, and I just did the Primetime session earlier today. Love it. I, I love that shit. I, if, if there's anything I try to do... Is just give back to sport, volunteer, do something to provide more for the sport just so we can get some more recognition out there, to say the least. But it was fun, had a great time, met some new people, all that kind of stuff. It's always good to just get out, meet new people. It's what I look forward to. But I'm kind of talking about next couple weeks ish, so per se. So we're getting a new block tomorrow. And we'll see. I have a feeling we're going to be going deep into volume here, but who knows? Did I ruin my prep? No. Prep is not even close to ruin. Nothing's broken yet. We got 10 weeks. I got time. Like, yeah, it's 10 weeks and it's kind of time to be wary of what's going on. But at the same time, there's plenty of time, so I'm not worried at all. Like, I, I know that 600 is either going to be a second attempt or a third attempt. I'm not even worried about that. So on to the next. Next week, there might be some big changes coming. And I'll discuss it in my next video, but you'll see why. Next week's going to be a completely raw week. I'm going to let you guys tap into my mind a little bit more, see what's up with that, everything related to that. I'm excited because we are not going to be at Live Free or Die for like half the week. So you'll see. I'm excited. It's a change that's going to affect my lifting a tremendous amount. And I think it's time to get back. But that's for the next video. Because this one's over. And I'll see you guys in the next one. But get your protein in. Never settle. And until next time.